What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna head to Colorado. We're gonna come back and then I got something coming in for uh, the weekend. Um, I talked about it on the previous video, but uh, if you guys, my voice sounds a little weirder, like different, weirder, a little different. Uh, that's because allergies, it's been super windy. Like literally it's been super windy for like the past few days. Uh, it was windy, like really bad this morning, but like, Calm down a little. Uh, hopefully it's not windy this weekend. Anyways, we're just gonna finish uh, doing this and then head to Colorado. We skipped the entire day. Uh, we're working on a new truck. As you guys can see, I just bought that tool right there from uh, Harbor Freight, and it seems like it works pretty damn good because we're pulling these out. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know why Freightliner makes these trucks like that or made them. I don't know if the new ones are like this, but the U joints on these trucks suck. They're not like the Peterbilt ones. So it's a little bit harder to pull out. I gotta take one of those out and then that one right there out. And the two up there, the one in the middle, and uh, let's see if we can see them all the way by the transmission. Um, so we're gonna have to take all that out. We were gonna heat it up. I mean, usually we just use this for like smaller oh, no. jobs. I like see, it. but um, seems like it's gonna work out. So we're gonna get that off. We're gonna try and get that one off, so I could go buy them, and then we'll probably get those off sometime next week, because. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time tomorrow. So. No, no, no. Um, hopefully this one comes off just as easy as that one. Uh, if this one seems like
There you go. I kind of don't want to hit myself with this thing. I'm assuming it's going to come right off. On this side. There you go. Come on. Oh, shit. There you guys go. Fortunately, I just got my cool shirt full of oil or grease. We're going to pull this bad boy out. Uh, luckily me, I thought it was four of them that were bad, but uh, I, it's not. I guess it's just that one and this one. So I just saved myself about a hundred bucks and the work off, of course. So we're just gonna replace these two. I should be fine, pretty much. I'm just gonna have to buy these two. I gotta open up the differential, take the oil out, seal it up, put the oil back on there, and uh, the truck should be good for an alignment. So yeah, let me um, show you guys this real quick. All right, well, we didn't really need to use the kit. Um, Cause they just came right off. What I didn't realize was that uh, those are broken. So that is like supposed to be a part of that. So this one was completely messed up. Uh, the other one was good, I think. But I mean, either way, I had to take it off to uh, remove the differential. So I'm gonna just replace it. Probably gonna go buy them either today or tomorrow morning and then I'll probably tow them on tomorrow if I have time and uh, that should be that all right guys well we are back it is the next day uh, unfortunately today I'm working on by myself um, so I I did this for safety so I'm gonna pull it off not take it off completely I'm just gonna you know make sure that there's like a little gap here so I could put the silicone so I can seal it up and I drop the oil on it. I don't record because it's super windy and I don't have anybody to help me like, you know, do anything. So I can't really be recording and working at the same time. I got, uh, let me check. One, two, three bolts, three more bolts to go. Hope for the best. <laughs> it's the first time I do this by myself. So yeah, so hopefully everything goes well. Get it apart from there, put the silicone on there, put it back together and um, I'll probably have to, so I'm gonna put the new seals here. I gotta clean that up. Let me show you guys. I gotta clean these up and then this one right here because it's super dirty. So I gotta do all that, make sure everything's good, put it all back together and then I'll probably do the drive shaft um, maybe another day, not tomorrow because tomorrow we got another um, busy day. So we'll probably do that next week. And let me uh, show you guys a little bit more of this and uh, Hopefully it doesn't get uglier because it's getting windy. It wasn't windy earlier, but it's getting windy now. So hopefully it doesn't get worse. But uh, yeah, let me um, show you guys a little bit more of uh, what I'm doing. All right, guys. Well, we are back. Unfortunately, I was not able to record yesterday, like everything, because it got super windy. It like dusty as crap, so I had to put my phone away. Um, but we finished. So um, I ended up... We actually just finished this morning uh, the... Uh, drive shaft we just put the uh new joints on there we had a it wasn't that hard my dad helped me this time so it was kind of easier but um i'm testing it unfortunately he's a tune which um i don't know who i might have to take it to but uh either way we're just gonna pick up the, the trailer As you guys can see it's loaded i gotta wrap it up and uh, i didn't bring none of my stamps or anything so i can't really record but yeah so pretty much I feel like something with the turbo is not, the boost isn't right. It, it has boost, it, it, it runs pretty strong, but they, the, I don't know if I said this before, but the ECM was stolen from this truck. The previous owner had to put another ECM. Um, unfortunately, the, the original one, and you said that it ran pretty good with the original one, a lot better than it runs now. Uh, so he just bought an, a used one, and uh, he pretty much just plug in place so he didn't tune it or anything so the truck's just running as it is doesn't run bad but i feel like it could be running a lot better the only bad thing about that is that if you end up messing with it and it's it's a bad ecm i'm just gonna have to end up buying a new one and well that's another two grand or so so i don't know but i'm gonna see how it runs with the load we're gonna test it out just wrap it up and then i'll see you guys here in a little bit so yeah Yes, I would have loved to have a boy. I 
would have loved it, but you know, girls are very sweet. I don't know if you guys have uh, nieces or you know, or your own daughter. If you have a daughter, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so there's that. We are in Oklahoma. The reason I'm sorry, I barely started recording is because uh, I'm, I've been super tired the whole week. Uh, I didn't rest very well, as you guys probably guess. We got drunk. And, uh, it's been, a, it's been a week and it's Wednesday today so I already came to Oklahoma once went back home and then I came back and I'm going back right now I'm gonna go load so we're gonna show you guys that real quick and then uh, we're gonna head back to Albuquerque and hopefully we get, a, we get another round trip tomorrow it'd be really nice but yeah I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit Unfortunately, I was not able to record because uh, my appointment was at 11, but I showed up at 9 and they got me loaded. Like, it was uh, pretty quick. Uh, they did load me the wrong load, but it was the load my friends load, and we're going to the same place, so it didn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, we're loaded, and uh, we're headed back to Albuquerque. I'll show you guys a little bit more of uh, the drive. It's very nice out here right now. It's, like, super, super green, so I really, really enjoy that. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, here in a little bit. checked in we're gonna deliver this we got my buddy delivering over there right now he's gonna on tarp deliver we're gonna load so surprisingly there's one truck and it's like 12 12 p.m already and there's only one truck here so that's kind of scary that's kind of scary i mean i've never seen this place this empty i mean yeah there's been times i've seen it like on um Maybe on a Monday or something like that. But I mean a lot earlier, like 9, 9 a.m. Right now it's uh, 12 p.m. And the uh, guy at the office, Nick, said there's uh, supposed to be like 15 trucks today. So that's scary. That's scary. I just bought another truck. I don't know if it was as smart as idea. But um, anyways, uh, let's uh, get this untarped. Hopefully they don't take forever to unload them and then we can get, get to uh, loading and uh, we're headed to Arizona, to Phoenix. That's new, so um, yeah, it's uh, darkness. All right, well, we are loaded. Uh, we just came to uh, put some Freon on uh, my friend's truck. And uh, we're headed to Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, sir. We already got a load back tomorrow, so it'll be a quick, fun trip. actually pretty nice today in phoenix thought it was gonna be super hot but it's not it's actually very nice and i'm wearing my old i don't even know what they call these hats but yeah so we're just gonna wait for them to unload us and then we already have a load which, which it's gonna be super nice it's gonna be like it's six thousand pounds or something like that so it's gonna be super light pretty nice but uh yeah i'll see you guys um 
at the other at the uh, pickup location all right well as you guys can see um it's gonna be a very interesting load so i do have to tarp it i mean i don't know it's uh it's a load for like intel i guess um but they're like super kind of strict with it um i guess i have to like inspect the whole boxes so they're like six crates and i have to inspect each one of them fill out a whole paper for like all the information and uh you know i gotta make sure that it doesn't have any damage like the crates like even water or bugs damage or nothing so whenever I throw it on my trailer, you know, if it has any of that, then you know, it's blamed on me. So the crates seem to be fine. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to load them up. And uh, thankfully, the guy here is very helpful. So he's uh, helping me fill out the, the crates, I mean the uh, papers. And he made it a lot easier. But, yeah, so let's get loaded. Hopefully doesn't get too hot because i got a tarp and um yeah so i'll see you guys here in a little bit all right well it's gonna be five crates i think that are like the same size which um so it's not gonna be a bad tarp because i gotta put probably gonna put two of them and then that one on the middle and then the other two on the back so it's like so the tarp just sits like straight i don't want to mess with that on the front or the back that'd be kind of ugly but we're just gonna get loaded and uh, head back home. Yes, sir. Well, that's not fun. It's a bit too high. That kind of sucks because I don't know if I could get on top of these boxes to, um, to tarp. But uh, we'll see. as well as you guys can see that's what we loaded uh, i completely forgot to record when i got loaded but um anyways yeah that's my buddy right there we're headed back we're in hatch new mexico right here i don't know if you guys ever if you guys ever go through here yes make sure you guys stop here i don't know if they're open during the weekends but the food's pretty good so we're gonna have ourselves some meal and then uh go home we're like three hours from albuquerque so It'll be a nice trip after some good food. So I'm gonna show you guys my play real quick. All right guys, well we are back at the yard. You guys can see the load made it here in one piece. Uh, my tarp made it here in one piece. That's good. I actually did a really good job with this tarping. I thought it was going to be pretty crappy and I thought my tarps were going to get all messed up, but they did not. They actually made it here pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so before we end the video, uh, I got to change these tires, that tire right there. Uh, my trailer needs bushings, but I don't have another trailer, so I can't really just, you know, get that big. So I'm going to replace this tire and that tire, which I already have a wheel an aluminum wheel that i'm gonna i already have a tire on it so i'm just gonna replace that one with the with that wheel and then i have a tire that i have to take that one off from that side and then put that one on there and uh yeah so we're gonna do that real quick and then uh yeah let me um let's wait for the service truck because it's not here but uh yeah so I'll see you guys here in a little bit. all right guys well we are back it is monday i completely forgot to, to uh record um so my dad got here with the service truck but I completely forgot to record. So the tire's on. As you guys can see, it's in pretty good shape. Um, that one's been, I've had it since, since I bought the trailer, I think. So I don't know how good it is, but it should be fine. Uh, so yeah, this was the tire. It's very messed up, it's super bald. Uh, this one was um, worst shape. That was making the trailer run super, super terrible. I was making it run terrible. Um, but anyways, we changed this one as well. So, 
we're good for some months for a few months maybe three four months that uh, that's you know enough life for me um but uh yeah so we did that and uh we're just gonna go deliver this real quick and then we're probably gonna end the video there so um yeah i'll see you guys at the other location uh we're going to mexico on the next video we are going to mexico i'm gonna try to record as much as i can but you know i also want to spend some time with uh i'm actually going with my girlfriend and my my brother and my uh sister-in-law and a friend of ours is going as well so you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to have some fun with them but i will try to get some footage of everything show you guys a little bit of uh, my trip and um yeah i'll see you guys here in a little bit so yeah we're gonna end the video with this unfortunately i did not end it the way i wanted it to but that's all right i mean i got unloaded i hate that place i will never want to be there again it's uh they're terrible everybody that has a little bit of power in there treats you like shit so we don't need that we don't need that um but anyways so yeah that's gonna be it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button subscribe and share my video i would really appreciate that and i broke my camera on my phone just so you guys know um <clears throat> anyways yeah i'm gonna next video i'm gonna see you guys either where you guys are gonna see me either here or in mexico i don't know where i'm gonna start the video i'll think about that here after i finish editing this video so yeah but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button again hit the subscribe button and um i'll see you guys in the next video appreciate it thank you peace